the perfect workout for new mommies. Fall handbags and hair wrap trends we love, and simple ways to change up a new fall wardrobe at any age. Welcome to Life Love Shopping. I'm Andrea Jackson. And I'm Michelle Yarn. we got a great show for you today, including we talked to actress Allison Sweeney on how she gets her kids to eat healthy, and you can too. But we'll start things off with fall. You know, it's such a fun time of year, and there's so much to do for the whole family. So here are some of the best fall festivals around the country. We start with the Keene Pumpkin Festival in New Hampshire. They've got enormous towers of glowing lanterns. There's music, fireworks, food vendors, children's activities, and it draws in huge crowds because they do a Guinness World Record holding event there as well. Also, Chicago's famous Halloween festival called Chicagoween. It's known for its free attractions. The Daily Plaza turns into the Franken Plaza. There's a farmer's market exciting midnight circus and you can masquerade in costumes and take in all of the great children's activities which are actually fit for all ages and then finally you have the Central Park Pumpkin Festival in New York City this festival is all about the little kid and all of us there's marionettes costumed characters pumpkin decorating arts and crafts live entertainment and of course New York's impressive farmers market Ever wonder where in the United States one could travel in order to find the most sexually active wealthy men? According to a study conducted by the Sugar Daddy dating website, <laughs> because we really need our information from there, uh, seekingarrangement.com, these are the top 10 promiscuous cities. Chicago, Birmingham, Las Vegas, Oklahoma City, Atlanta, Phoenix, Philadelphia, Hoboken, Richmond and Hartford. Obviously, the stats probably don't mean much to the average man in Chicago or Atlanta or insert your city here since the average guy probably isn't a member of this particular type of dating website, but maybe you're wondering about the least promiscuous cities. New York and San Francisco scored tops with less than 15% of their sugar daddies having seven plus partners mm -hmm. a I year. Guess that one. Mm -hmm. Well, tis the season to buy a new bag and the options are endless. And thanks to Vogue magazine, we have the six most important handbags trends on top. First up, fur. It's updated with color blocking thanks to the House of Dior and De La Renta. Landon is offering this blue and black goat hair patchwork bag as a must-have this year. That's cute. Evening clutches. They stay small, but the embellishments go big. This Prada satin number is big enough to fit a cell phone and a lip gloss, all you really need, but clearly it's what's on the outside that counts on this one. Now, also, our work carryalls are all streamlined right now. Check out this Alexander McQueen heroin bag in red high shine leather. And you want to stick with animal print, it's back, but in new shapes and sizes. Ralph Lauren is highlighting this doctor's tote bag with an ocelot print, and it's made from goat skin. Also, mixed textures. Those are all the rage in rich colors like burgundy and forest green. Feast your eyes on Fendi's patchwork, stingray, and leather to your bag. Another fashion trend showing up on celebrities right now is the turban. And we're talking about the hair wraps that your grandma might have worn at the beach to protect her hairdo. They're featured in lots of spring 2011 runway shows, and they're just now making it to the streets. And here's a couple of celebrities wearing it. Um, celebrity stylist Rachel Zoe. She had a black vintage Christian Dior turban for an event in LA recently. Also, Kourtney Kardashian, she wore a bright cobalt style in Miami, even a sleek black one too. It's definitely a statement accessory. And then Sanji, she's on the latest season of Project Runway right now, and she wears several different styles throughout the show. So I'm wondering, what do you think? Is this a do or a don't? Uh, I think it's a do if you're a celebrity, probably a don't if you're the yeah. average uh, person. <laughs> Erica Badu can get away with it, but not yeah. so much everyone you, you else. You need to be pretty stylish and trendy all around. You can't rock that with like yeah, jeans and a t-shirt you, know. you know that's kind of a so. party get up anyway for those <laughs> who enjoy the scary vibe of halloween a visit to a haunted house might be the perfect way to celebrate hauntedhouseratings.com ranks the best haunted houses across the country we're sharing the top three starting with number three thrillbania's verdon manor in dallas texas there's a trail through a foggy graveyard with ghoulish images leading up to the world famous verdon manor there are five attractions on the 50 acres of land then there's the darkness in st louis missouri this location is made up of three of the best and scariest haunted houses with six other attractions. The darkness features a backlit 3D house called Terror Vision in the Monster Museum. And at Creepy World, go on the Zombie City Paintball Haunted Hayride where you can blast zombies with your own paintball gun. And the number one haunted house is Kersey Valley Spooky Woods in High Point, North Carolina, which has been open since 1985. It's home to an actual haunted house built in the 1930s, which now features over 150 actors dressed as scary characters. Still nothing scarier than a clown. I'm going to go ahead and agree with you on that one. Now, this next house, it may not have made that list, but it does get our vote for the best laugh. This is the Nightmares 
fear factory in Niagara Falls, and it snaps pictures of you as you walk through the house. It's kind of like when you're on roller coasters, you know, and they snap a picture. And we're going to be sharing some of these photos with you throughout the show. They're hilarious. If you're a mother, you know how hard it can be to get kids to eat their fruits and veggies. We are chatting with Allison Sweeney, celebrity mom and host of The Biggest Loser, as well as nutritionist Melissa Hollis Lang to help get your kids the nutrition they need. Good morning, ladies. Good morning. Good morning. So U.S. Kids Nutritional Stats revealed some alarming stats. What are they? Well, if you look at kids today, m the majority of them are not getting adequate fruits and vegetables, and only around 10% get the recommended serving of at least three servings of vegetables and two servings of fruit. And of course, we know that vegetables are so important because they provide the key nutrients that have kids, you know, allow kids to grow up healthy and strong and really achieve their optimal health. Well, how important are vegetables in a child's daily diet? It seems like we get mixed messages all the time. What happens when kids don't eat their veggies? Well, I'll tell you, you know, one thing we can all agree on, that vegetables are important for overall health. So, of course, if your kids aren't getting enough vegetables or they don't like them, there's a lot of things you can do to kind of change it up a little. One thing, of course, is to first take the One Giant Pledge. You can go ahead and make a commitment to try to eat one more vegetable day as a family and then figure out how your kid likes vegetables. For example, they might like them dipped in a sauce or they might like a little cheese sprinkled over them. And there's a, sorry, there's a Facebook page, facebook.com slash Green Giant has tons of these tips. I mean, the first thought is um, like that if your kid is hungry, they're more likely to eat the vegetables that you put out for them. So you could almost serve the vegetable as an appetizer and you get it on the table and then they're eating and they'll eat it because they're hungry and then you serve the rest of the dinner. Um, you can also take them to the grocery store with you let them pick out their own vegetables don't limit yourself to the vegetables that are your preference as an adult try everything try it try it again yourself and um, open up your kids eyes to maybe lots of different vegetables and like we were talking about earlier also um, cutting them a different yes. way sometimes kids get caught up in shapes and and, and textures sizes and textures you know they might not like uh, zucchini rounds but they might like zucchini julian style Allison, Melissa, thank you so much. For more information, just visit us on lifeloveshopping.com. Well, they say being famous makes a person grow up fast, and it's especially when you're the child of someone famous. So here's a look at superstar kids who are dressed a little bit beyond their years. We start with two-year-old Mason Disick. He's the offspring of Kourtney Kardashian and Scott Disick, and he is seen wearing kitty versions of the high fashion outfits Italian magazine editors wear in Milan at Fashion Week. Also, Willow Smith, the recording artist, and she's the daughter of Will and Jada Pinkett Smith, she turned up on the red carpet wearing a Versace mini dress with $1,400 Chloe boots. She's 11. Also, here's 15-year-old Chloe Mortez, or Moretz, my bad, the star of the upcoming Carrie remake. She was just featured in a campaign for Aeropostal wearing an off-the-shoulder wiggle dress and stilettos oh, probably more appropriately suited for her mom. Yeah, I would say so. <laughs> if you're ready to change up your fall wardrobe, we've got the ultimate lookbook for you. Yes, whether it's business, casual, or evening, here are a few easy, stylish looks from Doncaster to get you started. First up, we start with Jessica. She's rocking a cheetah print jersey v-neck dress. This look is great for a night out with some high heels, or you could even tone it down for the office either way. Animal prints are very stylish this season. Super cute. Also, keeping with the animal trend, give faux fur a try. It's a luxurious look and it still keeps you warm. You can even pair it with a muted snake print pant like this one. And we have some fun with the accessories as well. We've got a snake print belt and cute tortoiseshell round link necklace. Maybe you like the idea of a pattern, but animal print maybe is not your thing. You can never go wrong with a classic jacket. This pencil skirt and a rose jacket pairs perfectly with a boat neck blouse like Anna is wearing. The sheer sleeves add a hint of sexiness while still keeping things covered. Now, when it comes to work, don't be afraid to have a little bit of fun with your suits. We've got Lisa wearing a gorgeous gray skirt suit from Doncaster. But what makes it so fun is the ruching detail on the jacket and the skirt. Gray is a perfect neutral, too, because you can add pops of color with accessories like we did with the scarf that she has on. Another classic neutral is the beige pantsuit. And this one is anything but boring. It is part of the Roman holiday collection from Doncaster. Uh, you've got a gorgeous round neck jacket and wheat with gold buttons for a little built-in bling. The pant is a straight leg cut, which is the perfect cut for comfort, yet still looks sleek. Top that off with a silk scarf, and the look is totally put together. 
Now, you can also use color and texture to jazz up that classic black suit. This Doncaster jacket has a really fun ruching detail on the right lapel, and then the button closure will emphasize the smallest part of your waist. And we paired it with a beautiful 100% silk cowl neck camisole in a flower print and a bright eucalyptus color. And speaking of color, don't shy away from a pantsuit and a nice hue like this one from Doncaster's My Fair Lady collection. It's a beautiful violet color, but still subtle enough to pull off at work. The wrap jacket has a drape collar and silk charmeuse piping and again the pant is a nice flat front straight leg which would also look great on its own. Absolutely mm -hmm. and now you know we wouldn't show you all these awesome looks from What's Doncaster that? without showing you how to get them for yourself. Of course uh, all you have to do is head to our website lifeloveshopping.com now and we'll link you up to see the entire fall 2012 collection and get all the specific looks. Well don't go anywhere because coming up we'll tell you why pumpkin is the next best superfood in your kitchen. And are your favorite celeb teams Team Obama or Team Romney? Well we have got the list coming up for you next. Stay with us. under that? We'll be sharing throughout the show. Welcome back to Life Love Shopping. Well, you know, it's easy to pass off a few pimples as a result of a stressful work week, but there are some everyday items that could be causing your breakout. First up, your cell phone. Cell phones gather all kinds of dirt and bacteria, and they cause acne on and around your chin. So make sure you wipe down your smartphone daily to keep your phone and your face clean. You should check your prescriptions as well. One of the first places to check for complexion busters is in your medicine cabinet because steroids found in a lot of prescription drugs are a key offender. And also your beauty routine. Those makeup brushes are constantly collecting leftover makeup and gathering bacteria. Clean your makeup brushes once a week to keep them clean and bacteria free. Your face will thank you for it. Pumpkin stands are popping up all over the place this time of year. They're perfect for fall decor and they're also great for your health. Pumpkins help with weight loss. They're a great source of fiber with only 49 calories. They also keep you feeling full longer and a fiber rich diet helps people eat less and shed those pounds. Even pumpkin seeds offer health benefits. They can help your heart by reducing the bad cholesterol and toasted pumpkin seeds contain a compound that actually improves your mood and may even be effective against depression. Pumpkin is also a great skin protector. The high vitamin content can give you that healthy glowing skin. Try about a cup of pumpkin a day. It's also good for teeth and bones because it's rich in magnesium, something our body needs to maintain strong bones and teeth. And one final bonus, pumpkin can help prevent kidney stones. If you're looking to change up the food you serve at your tailgate party, Michelle is here with a very sweet idea. This football season, it is so easy to make your tailgate special by adding a unique twist to American classics. King's Hawaiian is a family-owned company best known for its line of bread products made from their original Hawaiian sweet recipe. And here are some ideas that will add aloha to your tailgating menu. The new original Hawaiian sweet hamburger and hot dog buns have a soft and fluffy texture with just the right touch of sweetness. The hamburger buns are ideally sized for your backyard burger, and they deliver the classic savory and sweet combination that everyone loves. While the hot dog buns offer a signature top cut design. So whether you prefer chili, sauerkraut, or simply ketchup and mustard, the top cut buns keep all your favorite flavors together in every bite. For more information about these new hamburger buns and hot dog buns, and to check out family favorite recipes, visit the King's Hawaiian website at kingshawaiian.com and make sure you like them on Facebook. Ooh, Michelle, thank you. Many Hollywood stars are triple threats. Some even have their own bands. Jess Correa's from our news partner, The Daily Buzz, is here with all the scoop. Hey, Jess. You're absolutely right, ladies. Well, because celebs can do almost anything, that's exactly what they do, including having bands, like you said. So let's start off with the obvious, Billy Bob Thornton. His band, the Boxmasters, uh, who toured the USA and even Canada, come with controversy, of course. Back in 2008, they called their Canadian audience mashed potatoes with no gravy. Yeah, that's Billy Bob for you. <laughs> Next up, Demi's ex, Bruce Willis. The Hollywood star takes from his busy schedule to rock out with his band, Bruce Willis and the Accelerators. Um, 
Um, his biggest booking to date was back in 03 when they sang for the troops in Iraq. Oh, and we can't talk about celebs or fans without adding this lady. This right here is Jada Pinkett Smith. Look at her rocking now. With um, Wicked Wisdom, Will Smith's Honey is better known as Jada Curran when she was the lead singer of this metal band performing with them as recently as 2002. And that's your buzz on celebs with fans. Want more? Catch me weekday mornings on The Daily Buzz. All right, Jess, thank you. Yeah, thanks a lot. You know, celebrities also like to voice their political opinions. Yes. And presidential hopefuls rely on celebrity endorsements for big ticket events to help boost fundraising and their profile. So who's supporting who? Well, in President Obama's corner, we have George Clooney, who hosted a $15 million fundraiser at his home. Jessica Alba asked voters to pledge allegiance to Obama in his For All campaign. Eva Longoria spoke at the DNC as the co-chair of his re-election campaign. Sarah Jessica Parker and Matthew Broderick hosted a swanky fundraiser at their New York City home. And Beyonce and Jay-Z hosted a $40,000 a plate dinner that had better have been some good food. Now Melania and Donald Trump hosted Ann Romney's 63rd birthday party at their home. Cindy Crawford was featured in a pro Romney video. Mm -hmm. Jenna Jameson, she announced her endorsement at a San Francisco strip club. Clueless actress Stacey Dash tweeted her support saying, vote for Romney, the only choice for your future. And Chuck Norris, also a big fan. No explanation necessary on oh, that Oh, well, <laughs> why not? Exactly. Chuck's a staunch Republican, right? Well, we've got answers to some of the trickiest kid questions coming up. Plus, the new Mommy and Me workout next. <laughs> I'd love to know what it is that's jumping out and scaring them. Something that's quite a bright flash, too. <laughs> yeah. All right, parents, do you ever feel like a phony when you're trying to answer one of those tricky kid questions, like, do fish sleep? Here's the cue with the A to make you sound like Bill Nye the science guy. Here's one of the very favorite questions. What causes hiccups? Well, hiccups usually occur when the stomach rubs against and irritates the diaphragm, the muscle at the bottom of the rib cage. An irritated diaphragm pulls back fast, forcing air sharply into the lungs. When the air hits your voice box, you hiccup. Give the kids a minute to digest that one. <laughs> also, why is yawning contagious? Well, two Italian scientists studied this puzzling phenomenon last year, and they think that contagious yawning shows empathy. Kind of like, yeah, I'm sleepy too. In fact, we're more likely to catch a yawn from a close friend or a family member than from an acquaintance or a stranger. Sometimes even a pet, yep. like the elephant in that picture. <laughs> uh, why do feet smell? Okay, I think adults and kids want to know this yes. question. Well, they are covered in tons of bacteria, and when bacteria excrete waste, it really stinks. Ugh. Why so much with the feet? Well, bacteria thrive in wet places, and our tootsies, which have 250,000 sweat glands each, Per foot, people. Ugh. They are among the body's dampest spots. Lovely. Well, new moms, you know, finding time to work out is a mission impossible. But Nikki Glor from our partner site, galtime.com, has the perfect workout moms can do with their baby. Hi, I'm Nikki from NikkiFitness.com. And I recently had a baby, and Gal Time has asked me to share with you some moves that you can do at home after you've had a child, so you don't have to wait till nap time to work out. You can actually do it so that you get sculpted and the baby is soothed. So let's start out just side to side. If your baby doesn't really like this to get him to stop crying, or this, you can do some moves like plie squats. So it's a big range of motion. You can put the baby in a baby Bjorn, or just carry them securely, hand behind the head. So up and down here, we're working the glutes, the quads, and the inner thighs. Next, if you'd like to move in a rocking motion, you can work the outer thighs, which they oppose the, mus the opposing muscle group from the inner thighs. So the outer thighs oppose the inner thighs, and we're rocking the baby here. They usually love this. So lift, squat, lift, and squat. Another move you can do is a squat to the floor and then lift to the sky. Nice and gentle, and this works your arms, your biceps, and your shoulders. Good. And up. One more we have time to do is 
The patty cake crunch. Who doesn't want to work their abs after having a baby? I know that was my big thing. I had a C-section, and it's definitely an, a place you really want to work. So we're going to come down. Baby's going to play here. You patty cake crunch, patty cake crunch. And usually they look at you and smile and giggle and have a great time. So that's my baby booty camp workout. It's just a little preview, but it's 15 minutes you can do throughout the day to slim mommy and soothe the baby. Bye-bye. And she looks great, post-baby body. Well, here's what's coming up on tomorrow's show. Want to look hot in this football season? The jerseys and t-shirts that will have you looking super sexy and stylish on the sidelines. And if you need to cook up an entire meal at home for a football party, we are showing you some delicious and super simple ideas. Well, here at Life Love Shopping, we want to connect with you. And when we're not on TV, you can stay in touch by liking our Facebook page. And you can check out behind-the-scenes photos, which are pretty cool. You can also follow and tweet us on Twitter at Life Love Shop. That does it for Life Love Shopping today. Thank you so much for joining us. We will see you back here tomorrow. Be good, everybody. Bye.